Hundreds gathered at a downtown hotel to celebrate Drew Brees' induction into the Saints Hall of Fame. He was introduced by team owner Gail Benson and former Saints tight end Jimmy Graham. This group, Mickey included, believed in him. And what we saw was him rise with this city and bring this city back. Breeze was quarterback for the Saints for 15 seasons, guided the team to whew, that moment right there. Super Bowl victory against the Colts back in 2010. Breeze spoke about his 15 year journey with the Saints. I've had the chance, as many of us have over the last 10 years of my playing career, to watch so many of my former teammates uh, be inducted in the Saints Hall of Fame. And it's been a joy each and every time because it just reminds you, honestly, of, of why, why we all played this game. We played this game to be the very best. We played this game to win championships. The Saints Hall of Fame also inducted longtime in-stadium announcer Doug Morrow. Former Saints head coach Sean Payton paid a quick visit to the event, and then it was, of course, back to that, coaching the Broncos during the game last night. There he is. Yep. And that was a big reason why it was an epic failure in prime time. As Saints fans in a tailspin this morning after an awful showing against Sean Payton and the Denver Broncos. Yeah, booze could be heard across the Superdome. Uh, fans were leaving the stadium by the fourth quarter. I mean, just outright leaving. Let's get to Josh Robertson, who's live outside the Superdome with a breakdown of uh, what all went wrong. Uh, yeah, Kelsey, a lot went wrong. And you were just mentioning, you know, a lot of Saints fans leaving the game early. That was well noted. Uh, yesterday by the people that were there uh, inside the dome and you know there's been a lot of chatter this morning on social media there was actually a quote from Alvin Kamara yes last night after the game was over he was asked about that Alvin Kamara was quoted as saying that he doesn't blame the fans for leaving early he said he would have left early too so there's disappointment all over the place from the fans to the players and you know it's a game that really had shaped up to have some potential you know the game the Saints were on a losing streak but they had a chance for this game to be epic with Drew Brees uh, there at halftime with a lot of his uh, former players, his former teammates uh, getting inducted into the Saints Hall of Fame. You had Sean Payton on the opposite side, on the opposing uh, uh, side of the uh, uh, side of the field. And so this was really something that Saints could have had a good time with. But really, as soon as the game started, it was very clear that it was just not going to go their way. And, and by the end of it, as you mentioned, they couldn't wait for it to be over. The Broncos had the Saints number from the get go. Sean Payton was clearly ready for his former team. Morale was so bad at halftime. There were boos that could be heard from the stands and many players like Alvin Kamara, who I mentioned and rookie Spencer Rattler showing visible frustration at some of the decisions, some of the play calling there at halftime when the game was still kind of in reach. The final score was 33 to 10, but even that is misleading because the Saints really it was 33 to three with just a minute and a half left in the game. There was a garbage time touchdown that really didn't mean much. Some fans are now looking possibly for a change in leadership. There were some boos and some people yelling uh, for Dennis Allen to uh, maybe his time is up as the head coach of the Saints. But here's Dennis Allen himself after the game. We have to do a better job of winning the line of scrimmage. That's where it all starts. Um, we have to do a better job of getting off the of blocks. Um, and we have to do a better job of tackling. And so um, I think us as coaches and, and, and players all, all alike, we've got to um, we got to figure it out. Now, again, the caveat to this is, is the injuries that have been piling up really almost since the season started with injuries to people like Taysom Hill, Rashid Shaheed out for the season. Yeah, uh, last night we saw Paul Adebo on defense, Marshawn Lattimore uh, getting hurt. Adebo was carted off the field. The offensive line has been ravaged. They lost Ryan Ramchek in the offseason. I mean, I could keep going and going and going. Derek Carr obviously hurt. That's why Spencer Rattler is playing. And, and we're seeing some positive signs from the rookie. But the injury list is so long, and they've dealt with so much bad injury luck this season. A lot of Saints fans would say that's still no excuse to lose five in a row. And, you know, it's always that next man up mentality. So they've been losing some close games, guys, uh, in these last few losses. There have been some of them that maybe were in, within reach. Last night was just sort of a, a really bad outing on prime time. It, it just didn't look like the Saints yeah. were ever going to be able to catch up to the Broncos. It was one of the most disappointing losses that we've heard from a lot of Saints fans uh, tell us they've seen in quite some time. But we'll send it back to you, trying to find a positive spin on this. Um, <laughs> it, but it might be it might have, be a long season here. I have one, Josh. You know, the last, what, two and a half weeks, the Saints have been playing. They played a Monday night game against the Chiefs. Then they played the following Sunday. Then they played this Thursday. So it's been a 
jam-packed two weeks. That's right. That's all the reason. All kind of injuries right. slammed in sure. between. So they get a long break. Sure. Uh, hopefully everyone break. gets some ice baths, some deep yeah, tissue massages, it, some sleep, and just resets for next weekend. They call it a mini bye. That's what mm -hmm. they call that, Kelsey. When you have a Thursday night game and you don't have to play until two Sundays from then, that's called a mini bye week. So they'll have their mini bye week. They'll have an actual bye week. They've got time for some of these guys to get healthy. The problem is that you're two and five in a division that all of a sudden looks pretty competitive. The Falcons look pretty good. The Buccaneers look pretty good. So you're two and five now. Right. The hard part is digging yourself out of that hole. There's still plenty well, of games left, but two and five, it's very hard to bounce two and back five and make it to the playoffs with that. Means that 12 and five is also possible. So I, see, I hear what true. you're saying. That there you true. go. Only up from here. All right.